Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to talk about the new Dyson Air Straight. Now, I am a Dyson lover. I think I have everything that they've come out with. When I saw they had come out with a new straightener that doesn't use heated plates, I was all in. I think we all know that $500 is a crazy price for something to straighten your hair. So I wanted to review it to let you know if I thought it was worth it. And I have many, many thoughts. I have them all written down here, pros and cons. But for right now, let's just go over the actual tool. When I took it out of the box, I will have to say, and you will see later on when I show you, I was not taken with it right off the bat. It is, you know, fancy. But what I didn't like is it is very, very, it's got this huge, I guess it's some type of power pack and then this huge plug. I already hate this thing with the, my Dyson hair dryer. It's hard for me to get it out of the outlet, but I'm assuming that this thing is just so powerful that they need this for safety and efficiency. So you have to get over that. This on its own is not heavy and it's not, you know, hard to hold or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in and I'm just going to show you a few things here on the machine. First of all, you have the power. Okay, now it's ready. This little button right here, you will either put on wet hair or dry hair. This is your cold shot to set it. This is high and low, and then these are your temperatures. And then you have a boost. I did not use the boost. I think 285 is hot enough. Okay, and you see how it cut off when I wasn't using it? It does that, and it also does this. And you set it down for, I think after three seconds, it stops. That is pretty cool to me. That is like, one of my pros. It's very, very well thought out. It reminds me of my car. I drive a Tesla. It's just a totally different experience than using your typical flat iron. Okay, so let's start off with the first time that I used this. I pulled it out of the box. I think I watched one video and I don't remember her saying that you could use this, this right here to dry your roots. So the first time that I used it, first I tried to do it without sectioning off my hair because I'm not a sectioner. I'm kind of like one of those people that does a rough dry and then I'll go in with my round brush. So I tried to do that. Well, it didn't take me long to realize that you're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna to have to section it off to some extent. Then I realized your sections are going to have to be fairly thin and small because this is as far as it opens. Like if you tried to take all of your head, see it's hard to get all of that in there. So you do have to take just slices of your hair in here. So I'm trying to think of all the negative things I was thinking while I was using this that night. Matter of fact, I had boxed it up and was going to return it and I was going to do a review on it and tell you not to get it. You know I hate doing a negative video. So I thought last night, let me try it one more time and watch a few more videos and make sure I don't like it. Well, after I watched a few videos, the first person mentioned this. Here, let me turn it on for you. See when you put it together like this, air comes out of here. Like that. I mean, totally a game changer. It will take you from hating it to loving it. It is just, it totally changes my whole perspective. So I'm so thankful that I did that. And I do recommend, even with the air wrap, if you remember, I didn't like it at first. And then after I used it more and more, I learned to like it. I think what happens is when you spend this much money on something, you are not expecting any friction. You are not expecting any negative thoughts and you might even subconsciously be looking for reasons to take it back. I know I'm admitting that that's how I felt. So last night I decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and we're gonna see how it goes. I sectioned off my hair, just not a lot, but just a basic sectioning off. The first pass I took, I thought, wow, 
Okay, I see what this is about. And I did this on the middle heat setting, not the highest one, but the next one. And then you will see me kind of go through and do my entire left side of my head. And that was just last night. So you're seeing the results after I slept on it with minimal hair products. I actually used this last night. I sprayed it with the Kristen S blow dry mist. And then I put the Kristen S weightless shine working serum on my ends. A good amount because this was my oil instead of like the Kerastase or the Lanza. It's a little thinner. It's more similar to the Colleen Rothschild serum. So I put a good four to five pumps on my ends and that's it. So I didn't really put anything in there that has a lot of hold. I didn't put a mousse or anything else. So what you see is what I got. The first thing I noticed is it works. It works and it makes it so smooth and soft and silky and shiny. I think I get better results with this than I do with a flat iron. And I have every one that you can get. I have tried them all. I really think this does a better job at straightening than the flat iron when it comes to just going through my hair. And I have not brushed it, you guys. I literally put it in a bun last night, slept with it. It was actually just like a ponytail and then I twisted it around and put a clip. And then this is my results the next day. It took me no more than three times to go through it and it did not take that long. For me to not be someone who wants to section off my hair, I will say I was impressed. The whole time I'm in my head, I'm thinking, wow, oh my goodness, wow, you know? So then, what I did to just show how it works on wet hair versus how it works on dry hair, I took my regular Dyson blow dryer and I rough dried this part, even with my round brush, and then I went over it with the Dyson Air Straight. What I noticed is it was still so good. So if you're someone that doesn't want to start from a wet head, then you could do that. I almost liked the way it looked a little bit better with the half dried side because I felt like it wasn't quite as stick straight. I felt like I got all the benefits from this, but I got some of the benefits from the round brush as far as making it maybe slightly quicker. That is up for debate because this was pretty quick because I didn't have to spend any time drying. If you can see, this side is the side that I rough dried and then did this on dry hair. This is the side I did it from completely wet hair, right out of the towel. And I don't wait for mine to dry a lot, a lot, a lot. I just keep my towel in usually for 20 minutes or so. Okay, just for fun, let's go over it now so I can show you. Okay, I'm just gonna section off this top section. There's not really much touching up to do. I was just taking a small section like this and I was combing it out. Excuse the noise. It's on dry here. Heat setting on 250. Slide it in. I mean, the shine is amazing. I guess the secret is to gather it at the root. And I am going to put this heat right on my hand. Okay, it does get hot, but I couldn't keep my hand there forever. Let's see what happens if I try to bend. Maybe a little bit of a flip, but not really like a flat iron would do. But don't expect this to be the same as a flat iron. I really love it. I'm going to go quick because these are fragile. Wow. It's actually kind of exciting. <laughs> okay, let's take these out. Okay, I'm going to take my spring. You guys, it works. Bottom line, it works. If you feel like spending the money, do it. I think you'll like it. And I'm impressed.
I really am. So let's go over the pros and the cons. The pros, it works. It does everything it says it does. It blows out the hot air. It straightens with, I would say, no more than three passes. And it makes it silky, shiny, and that lasted overnight. This is also two steps in one. So you're getting your blow dryer and your hair straightener. And the blow dryer was pretty impressive. I would say the blow dryer on this is just as good, if not better, because it's more concentrated than the air wrap. The next pro is that it's shiny, it's soft, it's smooth. I'm a hair twister and I mean, it is soft and smooth right down to the very ends, all over. And normally, if you're a hair twister, you know that normally your shorter, more damaged pieces are not as soft. I mean, it is soft to the very ends. The next pro is I love that it has so many different heat settings. So it has three different heat settings and then it has a cool shot and then it has a boost. So if you're someone with thick, coily, curly, coarse hair, and you can take more heat on your hair, then that is there for you. But if you're someone like me that has long hair that's fine and color treated and it's bleached and everything else, and you know, you gotta think about how old is this hair down here at the end and what has it been through? And if that's like you, then we want the lowest heat that is effective. And I found that the middle heat did well. I found that the highest heat did really well. And I believe that there's a theory that if you can do the highest heat in one or two passes, it's better than doing the lower heat on three or four. I did notice that the higher heat did it quicker, but I'm gonna leave that up to you and the experts to decide. I love, love, love that it turns off when you set it down. What I liked about it is I just didn't feel freaked out. I could set it down, it would turn off. I could take my hair down, resection it, and then do it again. That way it's not as loud and intense. It was pretty much a pleasant experience. I did not feel any negative feelings at all last night like I did the first night. And I think the first night, I just had different expectations. They don't give you a lot of instructions, but what I did do is go on the website and I'm actually gonna print those out and save them. So I advise to do that because there was a lot more features than I realized just by reading the minimal paper that was in there. So I really like it. I love that you can set it down. And then the side dryer, this makes it worth it if you want to spend that money because one thing I really didn't like the first night I used it is I thought, how in the heck am I going to get my roots dry? If you've ever watched any of my hair videos, I dry my roots first so that I can get some body. So that was a deal breaker for me because you can't get this but so close to your head. But when I realized I could use this and then I saw how effective it was, that is just what makes it. So there are my pros, the cons. It's not really heavy, but it's not really light and it's a little bit awkward, you know, with the big plug and then this big thing hanging. And I'm someone who uses my hair tools and then I I put them up every time in a drawer. So that is a little awkward for me. I hate that kind of plug. It's hard to pull out of the wall, but that's kind of a minor thing, but just something I wanted you to know about. The biggest negative to me is I wish it would open a little bit wider because I felt like if it opened a little bit wider, we could get more hair like in there. In the end, you know, you can do that. But when you're starting out with the wet hair, you really had to section it off. I think if it opened just a little bit wider, it would be a little bit more flexible in the way that you use it. The final con is you have to want your hair straight. I tried to bend my ends a little bit and you can see that these kind of did bend in. I found that I got a little bit more control with the hair that was already dry, rough dried a little bit. This just wanted to really go straight, but that's something I will play with more. Even after watching the other reviews, most people say 
It's just pretty much straightening. But a lot of people would straight hair every day. And I'm going to play with it more and more. I've decided I'm not returning it, which is kind of a good thing because I felt really guilty about returning it just because you know how it is. But it is for straight hair. I'm going to experiment with like my crown pieces and see if I can still put it on a Velcro roller to get more height right here at the crown. And then I'm going to experiment with some other things. But I will say if you are expecting to be able to do this and come out with a curl, I do not think it's going to happen. So that is pretty much it. I think this would really, really be ideal for you if you have shoulder length hair and you just want to run through your hair really quick and get it straight, especially all of you that have those really cool angled cuts, you are going to love this. I really think it's better than a flat iron. I really do. And I think it has to be safer. Now, is it no heat damage? I don't think so. I think it's still going to damage your hair if you don't protect your hair with heat protectant. And if you aren't smart, like don't use the boost and the highest heat if you don't need to. So all in all, you guys, I think it's pretty impressive. I really do. And I think if you have the extra money, if you're curious, if you like straight hair, if you like engineering like this and you're just kind of like a gadget person, if you like all of the other Dyson hair tools like I do, I think it's worth trying. I know I ordered mine from Ulta and Ulta is so good about returns, but I do think you should give it a chance. Just remember me hating it the first night. I told everyone how much I hated it. If I hadn't tried it again, I wouldn't be able to get the advantages that I'm going to get with this. And I just really think that it's worth a try. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any more, please leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.